beauty collection as being about really gorgeous special pieces. Something that you can buy now, wear in all different ways. You can wear bits with jeans, you can wear it to a fantastic glamorous evening event and yet it's something that you will keep getting out of your wardrobe wearing again and again and hopefully pass on to daughters, nieces, the real heirlooms of the future. We envisage them having broad appeal, both the collections. With Boutique, I think specifically it will appeal to a perhaps a younger customer than we have in East at the moment. It will be, however, people who feel very comfortable with themselves and happy to wear those really special, gorgeous pieces, those standout pieces. With East Artisan, I think the age appeal will probably be even broader. We have some pieces that will definitely appeal to the 30-something customer and the way that you wear them will, will depend on your age as well. With East Artisan, I would sum it up as just a great celebration of the fantastic craft work that comes from India. A really beautiful handcrafted traditional item. Every piece is a chance to celebrate that and really explore the heritage of India. That's better. The inspiration behind both the artisan and the boutique collection was really uh, the wonderful crafts and fantastic textiles that we see when we go out in India. And also to an extent it was a return to our original more sort of boutique-y roots. It's really aimed at, at a woman who can really appreciate beautiful clothes as opposed to the sort of fads and fancies of fashion. Like when you go to vintage markets now, the clothes are beautiful but people only used to buy two or three pieces and then build on that and it's going back to that idea of rather than creating disposable fashion, we're creating things that people want to keep and use them again. So really creating, if you like, the sort of vintage pieces of the future. If you were talking about sort of celebrities or people that we imagine sort of, it could be anything from a sort of Sienna Miller, Alexa Chung kind of Notting Hill beauty to, you know, sort of a Judy Dench or a Maggie Smith or, you know, so it's, it's really clothes for people who don't mind being a little bit individual um, and who yet can appreciate real craftsmanship. East has a, a long heritage of ethical production, particularly with Anoki, um, Anoki Farm, which is based in Jaipur, who've spearheaded a number of fantastic initiatives in that region. Um, they do amazing work. I've been out there and visited myself. Um, they were one of the first people to employ women in the region, in that industry, and they've continued to really look after everyone. And their whole ethos is to provide um, employment for life for the whole family. So yes, that, it feels really good when you're making a product that has that behind it. I'm hoping that they will have a universal appeal. I mean, I think anybody who's remotely interested in how clothes are made and, and the process will be interested and I think they will buy into it because I think there is, in general, there's a feeling in the fashion industry for returning to these sort of more hand techniques and sort of celebrating the human aspect as opposed to the mechanical aspect.